everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day three, I believe, of haul week. And this time we have a Georgia Asda haul. I did see a few people doing an America the Walmart haul, which obviously is our version of Asda, like it's the same company. Um, and usually I wouldn't buy some supermarket brands, but I thought just to like throw a bit of something in the mix, um, yeah, I would buy from Asda. I did look at Florence and Fred at Tesco and it was a little bit more difficult to buy because it's obviously not online anymore and it's in store only and if you've not got your size in one store you need to go to another store and it was just like too confusing so to make life easier I just did Georgia Asda and to be fair it's much more affordable than Florence and Fred. I couldn't tell you if the quality is any better or any poorer or whatever because I've never really bought that much from uh, supermarket brands so let's just stop gabbing and get right into Firstly, it. Firstly I'm popping on these boyfriend jeans and I'm popping them on in the hope that they fit and I can keep them on with the rest of the items so that I can just make life easier for myself. So they are a size 8, they were £14 and they are the boyfriend jeans, they've got a little turn up and I actually picked these out because I don't have anything this colour. Uh, a lot of my denim is dark so I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. I will do the try on clip at the end with these or the last time that I need to wear the jeans because I need to move the camera down and it's just a bit of a faff so what I'll do is pop on the jeans and possibly the green top um, together so that I can show you them together and then I will show you the pan down and show you the jeans at the end. So I've got the jeans on and I'm going to throw on this khaki little top this is a size 8 and I can already tell it's going to be far too big for me. That is the thing about the supermarket sizes, they definitely pull bigger than your average like um, place to shop. It came in at 14 came in at £14 and the size 8 is the smallest that they do. So let me pop it on and see what it's like. So this is it on, I'm going to stand back and let you see it fully. So as you can see it is far too big for me. If this fitted I'd really like it. The sleeve is kind of like a nice... I don't like sleeves, like short sleeves. I am such a weirdo, aren't I? I don't like long sleeves, I don't like short sleeves. I don't like tight sleeves, like I'm such a weirdo. Um, but I do like this sleeve more because it's like hanging and it's less of a sleeve here. So if it was just that little bit smaller, like a little bit tighter, I think this would be such a winner. Like I would so be keeping this if it was just a little bit tighter. But as I do that at the back, can you see how much material I'm like holding? That's just how much I would need it to be smaller. Um, my mum is such a dab hand at fixing things and even I wouldn't be asking her to fix something that's just so oversized like this. Um, I'm totally pulling these jeans up but I'm, I'm still really loving them even though they are quite big. Um, yeah, I wish that this was a winner but instead it is a total fail. Love the colour, love the material. Unfortunately the size is such a bummer. So while I'm here, I'm just grabbing this grey knit. Uh, what way are we? We're this way. So this came in at 18 pounds, and I didn't realise it was going to be so long. So see if I stand back. I'm wondering if I could get away with this, with maybe like a belt around it and leggings, or even just the belt around it and it being a jumper dress. Anyway, we'll throw it on and we'll see how we got on. I am assuming I bought a size eight. Let me check. Oh, this is an extra small, and it is 18 pounds. So. It's a little bit more of a pricey jumper from Asda. Um, we can compare this to sort of Primark prices. The last jumper that I had on was 13, but it was short. So yeah, um, let me throw this on and see what it looks like. So this is it on. It is maybe a tiny bit too big, but I kind of like the fit of it. It's nice in the sleeves. I am such a shorty, so maybe it would be better if it was kind of slightly shorter. Doesn't go with these jeans, but obviously I've not got anything else here to kind of put on with it. Um, I really want to try this on with shiny pants and boots to see how it looks. So if I do that, I will insert a picture in the right and then I'll decide whether I'm keeping it or not because it's actually so comfy, so cosy, like it's snug, honestly, like it's so nice. I'm going to come in closer and show you the pattern. So obviously it's got that kind of same pattern down the front, like that normal jumper. And is it plain at the back? No, the pattern comes right the way around the back. Um, and obviously it comes right up at the neck. Right way down. It is so cosy. Not itchy, not scratchy at all. Like it feels to totally comfortable. Um, yeah, it's really cute. 
I totally am undecided whether to keep it or not because I really need to style up how I think that I would like it and then I can decide. Um, feel free to leave me some comments down below and let me know what you would wear with it and if you think that this is a keeper or a return item. I've just pulled out the jumper and put it on without like talking about it while holding it in my hand. Um, this was £14 and is a size extra small. I love the sleeves on this, like they fit so nicely and already, even though it's like baggier in the body, it already makes me look slimmer because the sleeves fit a bit better. I totally know that the style just now is oversized and that that's what everyone wants to wear and I know people are buying these things in an extra large to make them look totally oversized but for me personally I don't feel like it flatters my figure at all so I need things to be nice and snug and tight. In saying that, I think this jumper is actually nice, like I quite like it on, I quite like the fit of it. I feel like I would wear it not with these jeans, I would wear it with something like a lot tighter. Uh, maybe my wet look leggings or like I've got like a dark coloured skinny jean which I think would be quite nice or even tucked in like a like so a high waisted skirt tucked in like this and then obviously like tights and boots um totally totally undecided on this I feel like part of me is thinking I want to get a few good pieces that I'm going to get so much wear out of not to keep things that are just okay I really love the quality of this, I love the feel of it, it's so snug, it's not itchy, it's like, it's like perfect in so many other ways except the fit, so I feel like I want to invest my money in things that I'm going to get so much wear out of, um, it, I don't know, like I think I'm talking myself in and out of this aren't I, um, yeah it's such a nice jumper, it's plain at the back, the pattern on the front comes halfway down, um, I'm going to show you on my little skirt that I've got behind me, just as like a, a pair up and we'll see if that uh, looks quite nice together. My other thinking in my head is that I might actually go around all the shops and buy kids knitwear and see if I like the fit of that better. I could do a full video on that if you just want to see it. Um, I actually think the kids knitwear might, might be a better fit for what I like to wear. So yeah, anyway, um, let me pop on the skirt and I'll show you that next. So this is the little brown leopard print skirt on. It is like a cord material, it's so soft, it's dead comfy, like it's so nice. It is a size 8 and it is £14. It's a little too big. <laughs> um, I've actually got the belt, so there's like that in it just now, and I've got the belt like pulled really tight, so you can see that it's like buffing a little bit around the waist. I did say that I was going to put this on with this little cream and knit that I had on earlier on, but I did put them together and I didn't like them together. So I just threw on this little black top that I already had so that you could get a proper look at the skirt. Although this is too big, um, I definitely want to buy one that is similar to it. I want one that's got a nice pattern and it will go really nice with the camel coat that I've got there. It will just kind of break up the colours. Um, that's it at the back, it's just plain at the back. You can see there where it kind of buffles actually where it's too big um, and it's got that nice zip detail down the front. It's actually like such a nice skirt, it's so well made, like I really really like it. Um, unfortunately it's too big. So, so last but not least we have this blazer. Let me come in close and show you the pattern on it. So it's kind of like a grey colour with kind of like a light blue and light pink which is why I teamed it up with this light pink uh, jumper from New Look, so just ignore the picture from New Look. Um, just to bring out the pink stripes, I love this. It's actually so nice. This is it from the back. Um, it's a size 8. I'd love it in a size 6, but the size 8 was the smallest it came in, and I'm just totally going to get away with it. Like, I really like it. I'm keeping it no matter what. Um, it was £26, so I think that's such a good, good price for a blazer, especially one that, that I'm going to get so much wear out of. Like, it's going to be such a versatile piece in my wardrobe. I've got it on at the moment with the jeans, obviously, that are from Asda, and I was thinking that was that kind of person could pull it off I might just wear trainers and like can I wear this outfit out with a pair of trainers I wouldn't usually team my blazer up with trainers but I have seen so many people do it I would be more thinking of wearing this with like my skinny jeans and a nice pair of boots or like a nice little shoe or something like that but I'm gonna try and can I dress it down and dress it up so that I can get more wear out of it but this is definitely a keeper and how many things do we keep one so there's a possible three items getting kept in this haul so I would say that Asda's been a pretty 
good thumbs up from me. If the sizing had been a little bit smaller, then maybe we would have kept more and it would have got an even bigger thumbs up. But in general, I am totally happy with everything that was delivered. So I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying my mini haul week and I'll see you again with tomorrow's. Mwah. Ciao, bye. I wanted to quickly come back and show you the size. So I undid the belt and I've rolled my top up just so that you can see because I think earlier it literally looked a little bit deceiving and I didn't want you to think that I was just being moany. But obviously as you can see like it's gaining quite a lot um, and that is a size 8 so I hope that that does help anyone who is planning to buy um, anything from Asda, especially this skirt. Also, if I can add, the quality of the things that I received from Asda has been so good. Um, especially that blazer, £26. You would not know, one, that I paid £26 for it, and two, that it was from a supermarket. Like, I, I am honestly so chuffed and with the quality. Everything has been so well made. I'm definitely... Asda definitely gets a thumbs up from me, for sure.